Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Moon Goddess Tarot Hour here. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I have a message for Capricorn placements. If you happen to have Capricorn anywhere in your chart, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Venus. Okay. Uh, if you happen to be cross watching for a Capricorn, you're welcome. Okay. Just remember that these messages are general and take only what resonates with you guys and leave the rest for somebody else. Okay. If this message does not resonate with you, it could be it's just simply not your message. Okay. Uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can send me an email to the description down below and I can um, tell you how to book one in my website. Okay. Um, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's get your reading started. Okay. Today, let's get a, a message from uh, the Bible here. It says his divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life. 2 Peter 1, 3. Okay. You could be seeing those numbers. Okay. 2, 1, and 3. Okay. 1, 2, 3 here could be significant here. Um, you don't have to, but um, let's see what other message your spirit guys has for you. Okay. Capricorn. All right, let's do it. Answer so the universe, sisters and angels, please come me through this reading. And I'm curious, you have your best to give accurate messages to public replacements. Protect me against the evil eye, no book of my against me shall prosper. Protect me against negativity. I send it back to sender with love and light. Okay, um. Let's see what message do we have for Capricorn, Holy Spirit. What is the message here that we have for Capricorn? So, you know, rising or anywhere in the chart. What's the most important message they need to know? What is the guidance they need to know at this time, Holy Spirit, for Capricorn? Placements. Capricorn, so let's continue. Okay, we have card number 20 and card 19. Okay, so 19 and 20 could be significant here for some of you. Okay, so let's see what are these messages are. Okay. Let's start with card 19 here. Deeper look. Okay, it says you are opening to a unique perspective. You are now able to see below the surface to gain much deeper understanding of what is taking place. This is not only applies to your life, but to understanding of other people as well. We will be able to see the smallest details and see energetic patterns of what is occurring. You'll see the consequences, both positive and negative, of your decisions and where they will lead you. This gives you the ability to look to offer sound counsel to others and to lead your own life in the right direction. So very beautiful energy here, Capricorn. It seems like um, you open yourself to new adventures, new perspective of life, okay? And right now, it's like you can be, you can see below the surface of a lot of things, okay? So when you open yourself energetically to these patterns, you know, uh, this brings positive and negative consequences. So, um, and this is going to give you a big... Um, intuitive guidance to use your wisdom to guide and, and counsel others so very beautiful energy you're carrying here uh capricorn okay we also have card number 20. okay and this is the card is of the loved ones okay and it says your friends and loved ones who are crossed over want you to know that they are with you they are wrapping their loving energy around you and ask you to feel the peace of serenity within your heart and mind about their passing they are living and enjoying the other side and deeply desire for you to feel peaceful within this world they ask you that you surrender any painful emotions that you are holding on to and allow their energy loving presence to flow within your heart bring forth in peace and serenity feel the loving energy and joyful life of the gift of life here on earth okay so if you worry about any loved ones or any friends that might have passed away they want to let you know they are watching over you at this time okay so if you have any emotions or anything um stresses that you want to um let go of just you know let 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 it go to the universe okay uh, send that stress back to them they're gonna take it over they want you to enjoy life okay no worry about being stressed about their passing or about you feeling that you are not supported okay definitely your loved ones who has passed away are washing over you this time so that very beautiful energy you carry in capricorn so let's see what other messages come forward here for you let's see what is your soul's truth what is your soul trying to tell you at this time capricorn Okay, so 
statements. Okay, so you know, the higher self definitely wants to talk to you. Okay, yep. And even let me shuffle. Okay, we have two. Okay, we have, am I on the right path? Okay, and we have, sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lost and trust in the process and question if we are even on the right path. Note this, you are on the right path. Keep going, keep believing, keep remembering that you know you made a soul contract and that you are completely fulfilling it in every area of your life. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean that it's not real. Okay, so today's soul action is today search for all the ways that you are aligned with your soul's purpose. The signs will appear. Um, let this new fun trust fuel your next steps okay so if you've been wondering if you're in the right path your um spirit guys wanted to let you know that yes capricorn you are indeed in the right path okay you're doing the right thing you're fulfilling your soul purpose your mission here on planet earth okay so keep the good work okay we also have am i afraid to be seen okay and it says the world doesn't want you to hold back any longer time to shine your unique light on the world you were made from love and from love you are whole there is no more hiding there is no more shame there is only truth live naked and free okay so i'm not to hide yourself anymore okay and today's soul action is what part of me do i hide so i can be socially accepted and fit in am i being authentic do i allow myself to be all of me what do you need to feel so i can be safe to be seen and journal your answers okay so very beautiful um activity here to do so if you want to write those down you can stop the video here and write them down okay and ask yourself those questions but do definitely do not be afraid to be seen okay you're meant to share your life with others okay so do not hold back capricorn from what you know okay trust what you know trust that god is with you god is your source and you are definitely in the right path you had loved ones watching over you at this time from above and you got nothing to worry about so let's see what's coming towards you in the next uh week weeks let's see what is coming towards capitan in the next week so capitan need to be aware of We have surrender to the divine, okay, full moon. Okay, something you might want to surrender to the divine, maybe your conflicts, your situations, your worries. Communication is the key, new moon and Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini, okay? You don't have to. Okay, nothing will come out of this situation. Avoid the course of the moon. Is there something you're worried about? You guys are telling you nothing's gonna come out of that, okay? A fear of female approaches, full moon Aries. You could be dealing with the Aries as well here, Capricorn. We also have hold your vision fixed moon okay so if you have some type of dream or something you uh went into our share just keep holding into that vision god give you a vision for a reason okay and we have luck is in your side new moon and sagittarius okay you can also be dealing with a sagittarius here um capricorn um but definitely know that luck is on your side okay just keep holding your vision okay communicate your needs with others um know that something is about to approach uh to come towards you okay and that if you're worrying about something, then nothing will come out of that situation, okay? And there's something that you might need to surrender to the divine here. So let's clarify those cards here so I can give you a little more input of what is it that you need to surrender to the divine, okay? All right, Holy Spirit. That's the source of the divine session. That's the white light. What is the surrender to the divine energy here for Capricorn? Dreams. 
dreams beautiful energy it is time to follow your dreams and aspirations okay so surrender your dreams and aspirations to god okay surrender your dreams to the divine no this is what i want to do uh how do i get there okay and listen for those languages that pop up in your head that's how god communicates with us okay sometimes those thoughts that come out of nowhere in your mind are answers to your prayers okay we have communication is the key new moon and gemini Okay, we have faith. Okay. Have faith that all things are possible. Okay. So if you are dealing with a Gemini, you, you need to hold that faith that all things are possible. Okay. Keep holding that faith. Things are going to be just fine. Okay. It's just going to cause you to just keep holding into that faith. Okay. Faith is very important in this reading today for some reason. So do not lose your faith here. Okay. We have hold your vision. Fixed moon. Okay, we got two two cards helping beautiful energy say so give a little time to help others in their moments of need okay so get that helping hand okay hope that vision okay if you're helping somebody you guys are telling you it's like keep that vision you're doing the right thing keep helping that person okay give it a little time and and let others uh and help others in the moment of need we also have part here open your heart to love okay so it's time to open your life to this energy of uh of love energy okay and having that helping energy towards all this it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna uh help you hold that vision okay whatever it is that you're trying to worship i don't know your life you only know your life so just take this message as it resonates guys okay we get a beautiful energy here so if you're a helper um Okay, you're always helping others and you do it with 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 from a place of love, know that you're gonna get your rewards from this, okay? Very beautiful energy. We have fairly clean apples approaches approaches here, so let's see what is coming towards you soon. Oh my god. Okay, so we got three cards here. We have enjoy. Enjoy every moment of your life. So if you're feeling like you're not enjoying your life, you've got a lot going on, know that that is about to change. You're going to feel joy soon. Okay. We also have forgive. Okay. Release any anger or guilt or hurt and pain. It is not, not time to for. It is time for to forgive. Forgiveness is a key to the road of discovery. Okay. So maybe uh, you need to forgive somebody for something. Okay. To, uh, release that anger, that guilt, that hurt. Okay, and learn to forgive, okay? It is time to, to forgive, okay? Forgiving, it, it will bring you to recovery. You're going to feel that joy, okay? We also have attuned, okay? Becoming attuned to your inner self will help you progress spirituality, okay? So if you are trying to get more attuned within your spirituality and get more attuned with your higher self, I recommend you do some type of meditation, okay? Take a couple times and uh, put some soft music like they want to have in the background, you know, and close your eyes and just tap in, okay? Just just breathe in and breathe out. Regular your breathing, okay? And focus on what your body feels. And, and try to clear your mind, okay? Make sure that um, you're not putting any doubt, any, 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 any stress or any doubts into your, uh, into your mind. Just trying to have a clear mind um, mindset and see what comes up, what shows up in your mind, okay? That That is actually how we meditate okay and pay attention to those thoughts that that might be answers to your prayers as well okay we have lotus in the in your side so let's see truth okay always be true with yourself and not others involved in this current situation okay so uh your guys are telling you that there is lucky and uh, there is you're very lucky right now but uh, definitely um i always i always be true with yourself okay keep being honest with others, uh, be truthful, okay? And know that when you do this, you know, you're always going to have luck on your side, okay? Just be truthful. If you need to speak up your sires, you need to speak to somebody here, you need to say something, just be, um, just just do it with, it, with, with truth, okay? Do not try to deceive anybody at this time, okay? That's what I'm getting here. Nothing will come out of this situation, okay? What course of the moon? Let's see what this situation is. guidance don't mind me guidance okay 
So you're being encouraged to ask your angels for guidance on your current situation, okay? So if you feel like there's something in a situation that is bothering, your angels are telling you to ask for guidance, okay? Um, pray to them and ask them for signs and synchronicities, uh, letting you that you are still in the right path, but uh, what is going to happen with that situation, okay? So you feel like there's you holding in a situation that's not going anywhere, it's probably time to let go, okay? Let's see, any other messages here? Happiness, see? There is happiness in the end of the tunnel, okay? Just remember that whatever happens, whatever this situation is, if you ask if you ask for guidance and you follow this guidance, you are going to reach happiness, okay? There's always happiness at the end of the tunnel. So uh, keep a good positive mindset about this situation, okay? See the good in all things. See what lessons are you learning at this time, okay? Uh, learn from it, okay? Learn to forgive others. Stay true to yourself, you know, keep the faith. Your dreams do matter, okay? Uh, so maybe it is time for you to follow that dream that you always wanted to do, okay? Stay attuned with your higher self. They're definitely trying to communicate with you at this time. And um, enjoy life, okay? Take a moment to just go outside, go for a walk in the park, go smell the flowers, okay? Go uh, do something that you enjoy that you maybe haven't done in a long time, okay? It's time for you to enjoy your life, okay? Be grateful what you have, okay? Very beautiful energy here for you, Capricorn. Keep the good work. Um, let's see uh, what is coming towards you when it comes to your romantic life. What's your romantic life I'm looking at? It's coming in for the love and romance for Capricorn. okay so we have your feelings are real and worth exploring so if you've been thinking about that special someone uh you guys wanted to let you know that your romantic feelings are matter and they're real and they're worth exploring okay and then we also have a keep an open mind okay your soulmate may be the fear from your usual type and expectations okay so you might have uh, a soulmate out there that uh probably have romantic feelings for you okay um but you are you're not sure if this is the right person, okay? But you guys have to let me be open-minded, okay? Um, your person might not just look the you show type of expectation here, okay? We also have children here. Your love life is being affected by children. So if you have children uh, or this person has children, that could be a significance here, okay? And your spirit guys are telling you just, you know, um, your love life could be affected by parenting these children, either from one side or the other, okay? We have healing family issues as well. Your love life benefits that you forgive uh, your parents. So maybe you're dealing with a, a family issue at home, okay? Something to do with your mom or dad. Some uh, childhood wound here. And you guys are telling you, you're going to uh, heal from this as you heal your parents, okay? So this maybe it's time to make amends with your parents. Um, if you are single, I feel like there might be somebody popping up in your life. And you guys are telling you, um, these romantic feelings are worth exploring, okay? So go ahead and, and, and uh, explore those feelings, okay? And if you're married, I feel like um, maybe you're having issues with your children or maybe uh, it is time to be open-minded about uh, who else is out there if your relationship is not working, okay? And heal those family issues within your love life, okay? Um, but definitely, I feel like... Um, if you're single, there might be somebody popping up uh, in your life. You might have somebody that always in your mind. Not that those romantic feelings are worth exploring, okay? So this is what I see here when it comes to romance. So very beautiful energy here. Okay, let's see how your finances are looking. What do you need to work on when it comes to finances and your career here? What is it that you need to look for when it comes to your finances and career? Okay, what is the message here for finances and career for practical? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, lots of messages here for you today. So let's see what is this message is about. Okay, we have unlimited ideas. Okay, it said your mind is one of God's unlimited 
infinite mind. Therefore, you have completed access to your limited ideas, guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. Okay, so if you've been thinking about some type of idea in your mind, uh, those ideas are coming from the divine. Okay, they are telling you, hey. Uh, those ideas matter. They can bring uh, fruition into your life. So work on those ideas. Make something happen out of it. And we'll see the rewards of doing that. Especially if you're trying to change your career here. We'll have a con conscious consumer here. And it says, you have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmental friendly. Has your constitution customer, consumer, you choose to invest in a fair trade to organic foods. You live simply and you process only what you need okay so maybe it is time to be conscious of what you're spending your money at okay um make sure that you are buying things that uh goes with environmentally friendly and that you only buying what you need okay you're not overspending your money here okay so be very conscious of of your um of your spendings okay you also have block out distractions okay your life your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are, and you have the power to responsibly block them out, okay? So maybe you're way too distracted or something. Maybe you're on your phone too much. Maybe uh, you're doing something excessively and you guys are telling you it's time to block out those instructions and focus on your dreams here okay you also have savings okay has you consistently saved for your future your future is saved uh you do uh, you do your future self a big favor has you consistently set aside present funds this is a part of your soul um your self-care and a path to feeling secure has you focus on for your life purpose, okay? So maybe it is time to uh, put a little bit of saving to the side, okay? Uh, plan for uh, emergencies in your life, okay? So maybe it is time for you just to uh, start putting the little bit of, of every paycheck aside or for saving for your future, okay? We also have abundance mindset, okay? Um, it says, if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. Okay, so, so if you're waiting uh, for something, a big break or something, you'll be like, well, when I have this, when I have that, George Spear guys are telling you, do not see your abundance or your money as something you will have in the future but something that is already here something that you already have and you'll see how um the law of attraction is going to bring um more money more ideas more um more um more things into uh your uh lifestyle okay but if you see um money or your mindset about money is about well when i have this in the future or when this comes or when this gets here then i will do this you are limiting yourself to receiving the lot of attraction when it comes to your finances and career here so it's time for you to just um be a little wild you know as i see abundance like no i'm already abundant okay make these affirmations every day so you get to um to um break that abundance mindset to something that is not in the future but something you already possess okay so you'll see all that uh, new um, projects coming in, you'll see new opportunities coming to, into your life as soon as you send that mindset about uh, your prosperity and your abundance here, okay? So maybe it's time for you to have a little reflect on how do you see um, financial concerns in your mind, okay? Now let's move on to um, zodiac signs and see if, uh, what are the zodiac signs of people that are in your life at this moment. And then what synchronicities and numbers you could be seeing at this time they can tell you this is your reading. Okay, Capricorn, let's see. Alright, you definitely could be dealing with a Aries, um, Virgo, definitely Aries, Virgo, and a Cancer. And I also see Gemini and Aquarius and Leo. Okay, so you could be dealing with those signs. See what numbers you could be seeing at this time. They can tell you this 
reading is yours. You could be seeing the number 1111 11 a lot. 111, 7, 7, 7, 11 could be significant. Um, 8, 8, uh, 8, 1 or 18. Okay, you also could be seeing the number um, 6, 6. Okay. Okay, those are the numbers I see. All right. Let's move on to um, charms of things uh, that you could be seeing at this time. When it comes to the charms, just uh, pay attention. You could see these things anywhere around your uh, around your lifestyle. You know, this could be in a billboard. This could be in a picture, in a sticker. This could be in a magazine. This could be in a TV. So um, it's just going to give you a little more idea of this message for you, okay? And if this message resonates for you guys, don't forget to hit that like button. I'm trying to build my platform here. And like and share and subscribe my content, okay? So let's see what other things you could be seeing. Capricorn. Okay, so you definitely could be seeing picture frames this time. Maybe you have picture frames in your home, the family pictures, or something about a square or diamond, okay? All right, we also have seashells. You could be seeing seashells at this time, all right? Also seeing maybe a... Um, like a, what is this called? Those boats thing, whatever. Do you guys know what that is? I just lost my ten of hats, okay? You guys will be seeing crowns at this time, okay? Crowns could be significant here. Leaves could be significant here, okay? And a cross, you, um, you could be seeing cross, you might have cross at home, you could go to church, okay? But cross could be a significant here. So Capricorn, those are your messages. If this message resonates with you guys, you know what to do. And I'll see you guys in my next video.